This is sick. I got a bit of stuff going on. Tablet. In my mouth guard, it stinks. My tablet for reading books is gonna be just thrown into the void. No problem. My laptop right here, which I'm just chilling on, nothing really going on. What's this untitled export? What the hell? Oh. That's in my bedroom stuff. That's, 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 that's work. I like working. I would much rather work than anything else. There's some music going on. And yeah, just passwords, etc. 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 Mm, videos. I've got my videos. I've got 10 videos at the moment. If I get like 20 clips per video, that's like 200 clips. So I'm expecting at least 100 clips from these. That's insane. I hope I don't get like 100 though. That's so fucking insane. I'm watching Jake Paul. And he's like giving out some inspirational messages. Like, you guys can do it. You probably have more advantage of advantages than me. What was it again? I'm, I'm up. Jesus. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Let's watch, this, let's watch this speech together, guys. Start off, uh, I do a bunch of stuff do with just the you know, I want to send a message of motivation and inspiration to maybe just one person who's watching this video to go to chase your dreams to start today. Back then, we didn't know what an agent was, we didn't know what a manager was, we didn't know what Hollywood was. So inspiration. I'm totally pissed. We had no idea what we were doing ourselves into, but we were filled with ambition, we were filled with passion, and we had a vision of what we wanted to do, which was to be entertainers, and we went for it and didn't ever stop. And maybe you're thinking about taking a leap of faith right now. This is your sign. Do it. You will be far more fulfilled chasing your passions and doing something you love than if you just sit around and maybe work that nine to five job or go into a bunch of student loan debt studying uh, away in the books. And I'm not saying school is bad, but if it's not something that you want to be doing, maybe go chase your passion. You have no idea where life is going to take you. And if I can do any of this stuff, I promise. I think some of you guys are way smarter, way uh, whatever. I don't know. Like You guys can do it too, I'm telling you. And it doesn't matter if you didn't start off doing something at a young age. Now is the time. I just happen to be lucky enough to do something from a young age. But it doesn't matter if you're 40 and watching this video. It doesn't matter if you're 55 and watching this video. It's never, never too late to start pursuing what you want to do. I'm so grateful to have shared most of this journey with you guys. Like I said, it's been a long, long time. And to those of you who have supported me during this whole entire journey, thank you. Thank you so much. I owe it all to you guys. And you guys are what keeps me inspired on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to Aww, show Jake Paul is. what is possible and that you can do anything. However, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to work your ass off. You're going to have to show up every day. You're going to have to show up on your sick days and still give your 110% effort for maybe a decade, maybe longer. But I promise you it'll be worth it. And trust me, it's just as hard to sit on the couch and watch everyone else do everything and to be miserable. So both paths are going to be hard. Which one are you going to choose? You know, despite not liking Jake Paul that much, um, I have to say, like, one of those speeches was very, very similar speech to what Hamza gave and what Andrew Tate gave and Logan Paul gave. And, you know, I used to really, like, be a lot, like, a low gangster. My fuckers recognize that shit. Around, um, easy, like, five, six, seven years ago. I was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I think after like 13 and 14, I was like, no, I don't give a fuck anymore. But before that, I was like a really, really big, low gangster. And I was that individual that. What the fuck is saying outside? I was that individual that was super completely, utterly immersed in this world of influencers. And I kind of almost forgot myself in that world. But like right now, I feel like I've given myself a chance, opportunity just to sit back and grow and like really appreciate the message for what it is. Like this is, he sh this is the video where he show off his 60 million dollar house. So yeah, you can make it, you can do it. You probably have more talent than me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Which is like, admittedly easy to say when you're already on top of the mountain. So a person who's already like really low on the mountain, it can be understandable that that is often difficult to hear because like, motherfucker man, I haven't seen that success yet. Like for me personally, I have not seen that success yet. I'm grinding away my YouTube videos. Like I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna see the success. I'm dead honest with you. I'm probably gonna spend um, 
I'm not even gonna spend. I think I'm gonna spend my, a bit, a, a bit of time reading and then meditating, and that's it. And I wanna go to sleep, but because like it's, it's like it's two a.m. again. Always two a.m. I'm recording these videos. I wish I could record them more in the day as well, so we can natural light, natural light instead of artificial. But you know, despite the fact that I was so immersed in this, I kind of like hated them for a good while. These influencers, I have to admit the truth. Like these guys are wildly, wildly successful young men and. For the most part, we've seen them on the come up, we've seen them on the rise, and we've seen their prolific, controversial rise to the top of the mountain. And I have to say, it's very, very inspiring. And it's one of the things I have to give it to like Jake Paul. Like, you could be like, Oh, Jake Paul made his fortune uh, being a clown to kids, bitch. Jake Paul made a fortune. The fact that Jake Paul made a fortune was a good thing in, in general, in the period. Like, I'm not even a fucking Jake Paul, like, I'm a low gangster. All right, in my core, and I don't even like Logan anymore after the Japan shit. Bro, that video had like seven million views, and it before it got taken down. <laughs> that was crazy. But probably would have got like hundred million views if it was just up. That is crazy to think about. Should have just left it up, bro. Can't lie. Get that, get the ads and money coming in. <laughs> Make money off that dead body. I can't lie. Back in the day, I remember I was so desensitized to the like videos in general. I, I remember like watching it like. So when's the next upload? <laughs> Daily vlogs, bro. What happened to the daily vlogs? Oh fuck, man. Apology video. Okay. Ooh, daily vlogs. I think it was more the millennials that were offended at the time. Gen Z at the time were too like you know young and stupid to understand what the fuck was going on. And yeah, I'm th I'm looking back at it. And I'm like, it is what it is. It's what a horrible heinous it is. Like, uh, I don't know. It's just I can't really say too much about it. Like, oh, you're dodging a topic. No, but bro, he saw the dead body. It's bad. Obviously, it's bad. And then he talks shit about Top G, about uh, well, Top G's message, but Top G's like, saved my fucking life. And then, like, could go to the platform again. Like, you see, save my life. Like, come on, bro, chill out. Like, you are allowed back on the platform. Why is he not allowed? I feel like he really needs to brush my, brush my teeth. Jesus. Because the water brush my teeth. I do have to say, like, despite the fact that I don't like Jake Paul that much, I do have to respect the message that he's giving. I do have to respect the ideology that he's showing, that you should chase your passion, you should chase your dream, and you shouldn't be, like, stuck in a 9-to-5, despite how many people will try to tell you otherwise. Because at the end of it, you won't really be happy, and you'll be kind of miserable being on the couch type of thing, and you'll be mediocre. What, what do I always say, right? Live mediocre, die mediocre. It's one of my most, most, it's one of my most aggressive quotes I have. And it's one of the quotes that I think that if I keep saying it enough, people will really truly understand or people will really truly uh, apply it in their lives. Like I am, almost. Like anything, what I do, like it's mediocre. Like I, try, I try to give myself a moment. Like not today though. Like I have to say that I was playing fucking Scrabble for a good amount today. But for the most part, like if you give yourself the opportunity to say to yourself, like, yeah, live mediocre, die mediocre, live mediocre, die mediocre. I'm living mediocre right now. I'm going to die mediocre. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get what I want in life. And if, if you just say that to yourself and you give your, yourself the opportunity to just sit back and think for a second, you could potentially change your life forever. Because your frustration towards your mediocre life could be extrapolated and it could be like, why am I living a mediocre life? I, I don't deserve to go. It's grey. Grey skin, honey shit. Bedtime. Digital well being. Bedtime always on. Pause for 30 minutes. Let me fuck. Camera man, I smart DV. Oh my god, is this one's great. Sorry before I was brutally interrupted. I'm gonna look, take off my glasses so it's a bit more personal, so I look at the camera a bit more and see my eyes. You know, ultimately, J. Paul's message is despite I don't, I don't can't lie. I would have never seen J. Paul in his life. I think J. Paul's changed a lot in his life with the books, introducing books, but a lot with the self improvement genre. He was not like this before. And in the in the sixty million dollar mansion house vlog, like he has meditations by Marcus Aurelius. He has ego as enemy by Ryan Holiday. He has books that are commonly denominated with self-improvement and with the big introduction of self-improvement and masculinity and etc. Et that type of thing. 
I think even people like Jake Paul have been influenced by it and you know we've seen a bit more humble side of Jake Paul a bit more of a likeable side of Jake Paul and I really agree with his message going along because it's like I'm not I'm, I'm gonna be here I'm gonna be here to super say yeah I agree with the pranks and everything because that shit was, was actually genuinely retarded but that was genuinely stupid. It was heartless. It was, it was brain dead. It was, it was it was smooth brain. It was horrible. But I have to say, I have to admit the truth. Am I looking at the camera? I'm kind of blind with glasses. Very blind. Like, I have to admit the truth. Like, it was pretty, pretty, like, inspiring seeing it come up along the way. Like, in that little shitty apartment in the beginning. And then they go to, from the little shitty apartment. And they, now, now he's in, like, a $20 million mansion, both of them. Respectively, in Puerto Rico, avoiding taxes, come on, you know the vibes. And I'm thinking to myself, like, they made it, bro. And it doesn't feel real because you're looking at it through the screen. And I really, really wish, like, I could just get his taste, but I probably wouldn't be the same person. But I, I just want, like, I really agree with the idea of chasing fulfillment within a career, a desired career choice, within a desired career path like social media like being online etc etc instead of you know being an idiot and fucking working a nine to five and working a job you hate and making a mediocre income and escaping the video games and sitting on the couch and being mediocre being lazy you know because that is actually more difficult you know you know that that means suffer or suffer i 100 percent agree with it because it's completely actually true like holy shit bro like i was thinking to myself like you can suffer doing the hard work or you can suffer doing the easy work and even when I was playing video games for like 20 hours plus I wanted to, I wanted to get Predator I want to, I want to get a pixel, pixel on the screen an artificial badge that nobody cares about in real life oh yay like even after grinding that long I thought to myself like it's just not worth it and I decided to take a huge break step back from Apex and Warframe and everything in general and I think that for a while for a good moment like perhaps six months to a year not even then i think for another like few years i just want to not play games i want to buckle up and focus maybe the occasional like scrabble or chess here or there but anything like more i need to brush my teeth anything more i don't i think i'm just not going to pursue because it's just not going to be fulfilling in the, in the long run and yeah, I see individuals that all oh, oh, are successful, like, you could be more talented than me, and you could do it too, but it's going to be hard, you got to work hard, and, you know, it's one of them, oh, yeah, well, classic, another, another motivational speech, but to me, it isn't just a motivational speech, like, it's almost as if it's living proof of success, and I want to make this channel a ton of cut, with essentially showing everything here, I'm a broke 17-year-old Asian kid, I live in Tottenham, I'm fucking, I'm fucking poor, <laughs> I mean, not poor in that sense, but I am I'm broke in that sense. I bought this monitor for twenty five pounds. What a steal, right? It's a Aoyama one hundred forty four hertz monitor. I haven't even turned it on one hundred forty four hertz. I'm not going to turn it on because I don't fucking need it. But you know, look, twenty four twenty five pounds. It retails for like one hundred sixty pounds. What a steal! I got a favorite face mark. There's like one dead pixel here, and I negotiated down. But I asked if there's any faults with it for buying it, and it was, like, it was one dead pixel. I was like, oh, cool, that's fine. And he was like, oh, I could do, it was like originally 30 pounds, which I was willing to pay. And he was like, oh, I could do 25 pounds if you want. I was like, sure. Now I got it is. And his laptop, my work laptop, they gave, me, they gave me it for free from my trainship workplace. It isn't mine, I have to give it back after, I think, after I'm done. A few more vocational courses and I'm going to have to give it back probably after like six, six months. I'm sure. I'm kind of like trying to get all the work done, milk it, make up the use and trying to get my files. I forgot. I, I had like 19 videos before, now I have only 10 that I'm going to work on, buckle up and clip up and focus on. After that, there's going to be a next batch of videos, probably the next another 10 videos for my SD card I'm going to try to work on. You know, I want to ideally just work all, work all the way through and I don't I don't worry about burnout because I know it will, I will, like my burnout will be negated after, you know, meditation, after cold showers, after gratitude journaling, after, you know, um, exercising, exercise, hard work, high intensity training type of thing, it, my, my burnout would disappear because of that, because I'd be so busy with that type of thing and re recuperating, covering, etc, etc. I'll kind of forget the fact that I'm so fucking tired. 
and like you kind of want to edit more, but like that's not the whole point. Like you can act, you get sick, you get tired of it, but you're still gonna do it because it's your passion. You love it, and even if your love dies, um, one day it's gonna pay your bills. So fuck it, bro. So that's what that's what I want to see YouTube as, and I don't really see YouTube as work as much as like fun. I think editing is fun. Editing is rewarding. And I kind of want to be by myself in this aspect when it comes to editing because I, I, for now I have to be myself But when I get editors as well and later on in the business, I'm very prepared for that. I'm very excited for that as well I'm not gonna be hiring my friend. I'm probably gonna be hiring a, a professional editor or Fiverr for someone, someone cheap and then I'll be building off of that <sighs> Sorry, I'm gonna give my breath. I talk too much um, yeah, Big big future plan Anyways, back to the main topic of the video. Anyway, it's because like my friends were like, quick, quick, back on editing thing. My friends were like, oh, I hate editing, I hate editing, editing. And my stupid ass, in an attempt to fit in with the losers, I said I hate editing too. And then the loser friends were again back at me were like, oh yeah, Jake Paul, they live a lavish life. Can't be real. This guy spends sixteen thousand dollars a day. Like they can't be real. And then like I, I honestly, I, I fucking played some four A laws of power shit. I manipulated them or some shit. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just agreed with them and I just let them on their way. Like. I don't know if that's manipulation. It's just like I can't be asked to argue with these guys anymore because I know what I want. I want that. Yeah, I'm spending sixteen thousand dollars a day lifestyle. I want that. Yeah, I'll have sixty million dollars a fucking, a fucking. How do I say this? Um, disposable income in order to spend on a house. I, I don't really care about, and I can just chill in. It's all right, and I'm like, I'm worth hundred million plus. You know what I'm saying? I want that, and I know it's possible because I've seen individuals on the come up. And like it's everywhere. There's so many success stories. Over twenty million multi multi millionaires. There's, I think, is there is, is there a million? If we're talking about the one one percent of the population, that's seventy five million people. And then we're talking about the top one percent, top one That's seventy five million people. Top five percent of the population is four hundred million people. Google that shit. You know, it's actually seventy eight million people. It just or seventy nine million people it increased recently because the population increased. 1% of the population is 78 million people. That's 1%, the top 1% of the world, by the way. It's almost 80 million people. Uh, 79, 80, 79 million people. So let's just say 80 million people, because we're almost at 1 billion, 8 billion people at this point. 5% of the population is 450 to 400 million people. Most people are earning 500k a year, 1 million a year. Fucking, it's crazy amounts, 100k a month. It's more common than you think. It's uncommon, it's rare, it is 5%, 1% of the world, but it is still 400 million people, ladies and gentlemen. But what about the other few billions? Boy, you don't pay attention to the other few billions. You don't mingle with them, you ignore them, you just move along with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, tax, yeah, uh, inflation, uh, yeah, 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 bye. And you move on to the more important people that will actually change your life. And I think despite Jake Paul being like an asshole at times, I think he's been humbled a lot recently and... I have to agree with this message coming through, like, follow your passion, follow your dreams, you know, don't give up on them, don't fucking succumb to the 9 to 5, don't succumb to that bullshit, because it will not make you happy, it will make you miserable, it will make you testing, just testing your life, it, it will crush your soul, it will make you... that thing, and I'm getting the pressure of, like, in my video, like, get a job, baby, I, I didn't the name of the video, literally get a job, baby, but in my in that video, like, people... Millions of people worldwide, including a, a very prolific author called MJ DeMarco, who's a multi-multi millionaire. He writes a book, and then he says in this book, he's like, yeah, um, thing, the phrase, get a job, baby, coming from my mother, haunts me to this day. I'm like a 30-year-old, 40-year-old man, and a lot of people succumb to that pressure of getting a job and working a mediocre 9 to 5 and just being okay, spending the time, any time they get home, just fucking, fucking about with like fucking about with shit like video games or entertainment shows this this and that and it's sad because it's so much weight to potential but it's also enlightening because like that's my way of like in the marathon of life in the marathon of success I'm surpassing them in that sense you know, I don't know where this video is going I initially did agree with Jake Paul and now I'm talking about fucking success Get a job, baby, and financial freedom, etc. 
at the, at the end of the day, no matter how much you hate Jake Paul, no matter how much you despise him, no matter how much you detest him, I think you're you're well. How do I say this? Well, not endowed. Pause. I said well endowed. Yeah. Um, well justified within your hatred of Jake Paul. I'm gonna fart right now, bro. I'm gonna hold, I'm holding it in. So I'm gonna. Oh my god, it's coming out. Huh? <coughs> You hear it? I sneeze and fart at the same time. Did I keep it in the video? Yeah. I'm a bastard. No matter how much you hate Jake Paul, no matter how much you detest him, and you, I think you're well justified within your hatred of Jake Paul because of his past actions, the fact remains is that he became ultra, ultra successful being a clown on the internet. And he, like, and, like, this is why, like, I promote martial arts and boxing so much, and, like, Thing, fighting so much because even a clown like Jake Paul was able to garner respect because of boxing because it was knocking out dudes because everyone knows intrinsically how important fighting is especially to men and I, I just wanted to say like following a more following a more masculine path a more self-improvement path is like it's definitely much more rewarding than like a uh, Hurst dude <laughs> the best of bless you. It's definitely more rewarding than a classic nine to five, which a lot of people opt for. And I would definitely say like, always follow. What the fuck is my big ass forehead, bro? I'm gonna grow all my hair again so I can cover that shit. Grow my hair again to the side. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I will catch you guys in the next video. I agree with you. Follow your dreams, etc., etc. Motivational messages. Here's the his brutal truth. Some of you might not make it. You might be on your seventh try following your dreams. You might not make it. It's the way it is. Never give up. Always keep going. The video could die video. Catch you guys in the video. Peace. Oh my god, I clicked the video. I had to click here and then. Oh. I'm really cold. I'm not wearing any trousers. I wanted to wear pajamas, but it's not possible, so I decided to opt for underwear. And now I have cold, I'm sneezing. Bye.